The chosen ones, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the special grace of God, my name is Brother Obon Stanley Obonneachuku. I'm a new member in Lord's Choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Choosing. I want to. How new are you? One month, one year, six one, months. One month. One month. Clap on to God of the Chosen. New indeed. Very new. I want to testify the goodness of God upon my life within this short period that I am in choosing. Hmm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Brethren, permit me to sing a song, please. Go ahead. The God who led his people through the parted sea and through the Egyptian bondage set his children free. Who will speak and constellation with his voice obey is the God to whom I pray. Just the same today, just the same today, as when he led his people through the sea, through the sea, his trustful child I will be, for in his word I see. The God who do what wonders is just the same today. Jesus, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony goes like this. Last year, late last year, starting from October and on November, I was facing a very serious challenges in Port Harcourt where I was residing with my family. A very serious challenges in my business, in my finances, even in my marriage, hmm. everything was not in order. And when my sister, who is a, a choosing, heard what I am passing through, she insisted that I should come to Lagos. I asked her, what am I coming to Lagos to do? Do you have money to give to me? She said, I should come first. Hmm. I said, if you say I should come, you are not the owner of the house. I should hear from your husband too. Her husband called and said that they want me to come to Lagos. When I came to Lagos, it was on 14th December 2021. I came to Lagos. My first time to step my feet in Lord's choosing was on 19th of that very week, on 19th December. That was the first time I stepped on, on their branch uh, church. Then after the branch uh, church, they asked me that I should follow them. That there is a program that is coming forth. And the program is titled, Only the God Can Do This. Only God Can Do This. And I asked my sister, why are you insisting that I should be following you to this your church? Why I have a church where I'm going? She said that the reason why she said I should come to Lagos is that she wants me to be a choosing. That if I am a choosing, that my life shall never remain the same. Hey. Then I accepted and they followed her to the program on 26th December 2021. I was sit sitting there when the man of God came out and started ministration. I saw the diverse of miracles and signs and wonders. Hmm. I was touched and I said, Is this all, all testimonies are daily? Hmm. But what convinced me was when he came out, when he started preaching the word of God, I was touched within me that of a, of a truth that this is a, a man of God. Hmm. On the course of his ministration, he said, he said something. He said, today, whatever challenges or problem that you came to this place with, say from now to 21 days, hmm. that you will find that problem and you will not see it. Hey, I remember and that I, word of knowledge, yes. And I killed to it. I said, yes, this, uh, this man is a, is a real man of God. And I know that the word of God said that whatever thing that the servant of God, real servant of God declared that God will confirm it. Then I killed to that uh, very uh, 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 ministration. I started uh, after that Sunday, on Monday of it, I was still convinced. I said, I will still pray earnestly for this administration that this man said because he said it and said especially the newcomers hmm. he also said that if you go to any occasion 
when you are going, you will not go empty-handed. Say, at least they will give you something. Say, as you are going in here today, especially the newcomers, you are going with something. Say, your own might start tomorrow. It might be to, uh, next tomorrow, but he said that from now to 21 days, that something will happen hmm. to, to us. And when I went home on Monday of that very day that I kicked into that uh, ministration and started praying and fasting about it, I said, I will do this thing until 20, I will do this by prayer and fasting until 21 days uh, is complete. Then I started praying. Lo and behold, my cousin that I have been believing for financial assistance, he called me after that, uh, uh, when I started the uh, uh, prayer. He called me and said, uh, have you started something? Since you came to Lagos, have you started something? I said, no, I have not started anything. Okay, he said, okay, let us see what, uh, what will happen. Let me see what I can do. I keep on praying. To crown it all, because my sister has already said that you who is behaving as if you are doubting the blessings in the Lord choosing, I bet you that you are going to testify by yourself. Hey, that was what she said. So on the last day, because I counted from that 26, say from 26, which day will be 21 days where this where I will do this prayer and stop. I said it will be on 17th uh, January. Then on 16th January, being the same Sunday. That uh, the servant of or the man of God made this declaration and I killed into it. The guy called me, said, uh, Bro Stanley, I answered, he said, We small money like uh, 30,000 or 40,000 do anything for you. I said, My brother, any money can be useful. Hmm. But this is not the type of money I am asking now. But whatever you give to me, so far you give it from the, your heart, I will appreciate it. But if you have any other thing you can add to it. He said he doesn't have anything. I said, okay, keep the money to when I source out some other money, I will come and collect it. He said, okay. On Monday, being the 17th day of January, which is the day that this, my fasting, my praying will end, he called me again and said, come to Oshodi. Say, I wanted to, you know, say school don't open. I wanted to give you the little thing I have so that I will not give it in school fees. Then I went to my sister's shop and said, this is what this my brother is saying, you know. Can I go? He said, yeah, go. That he is, she is convinced in her mind that he is not going to give me only 40,000. That she knows the God of choosing that she is serving. That he's not going to give me only 40,000 naira. Now she gave me transport. I boarded a bus to Oshodi. When I get to Oshodi, I saw, I met him. He said, come, let us go and sit down. We went and sit down. He started encouraging me, talking to me. After saying what he wanted to say, he said he was touched by God. Hmm. He said, God told him that I am a project that he should uh, do something about me. Hey! Say, but he's just pulling my legs. He don't want to give me only 40,000 naira. What should I do with 40,000 naira? Am I going to use it for transport or something? Or what, what am I going to do with it? Say that he has decided to give me the sum of 500,000. Power! <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said he has decided to say God has asked him to favor me hey. with the sum of 500,000. Now, I, I lie down, I fall down on my knees say, what my sister has said has come to pass. So now, I am also one of the people that is testifying about the goodness of God in the Lord's choosing. <laughs> oh. can, can you say that again? I, I missed... Hello, I missed that last statement. Can you say it again? The last statement you made. What did you say? The last statement. Okay, the last statement is that I said, now I am one of the beneficiaries okay. of the manifestation of the goodness of God in the Lord's choosing. Power! Clap unto God of the choosing. Now, when I, when I called my sister and said, this is what Abel did. What you said is 
truth. He said, didn't I tell you that the God of choosing is a great God and the God of choosing answers prayer? Say, when you, I was asking you to come to Lagos, I, I don't have any money to give you, but I am asking you to come, be, to come so that you will become a choosing. Because I know that when you become a choosing, your life shall never remain the same. And I have seen that. I have seen the goodness of God in God's choosing. And I want to tell all everybody that is coming into this great church that whenever this man of God or this servant of God made a declaration, make sure you keep to it. Because I have seen myself that he is the mouthpiece of God. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And at this juncture, I want to pray for him. I know that I am not qualified to pray for him. But because of the joy in my heart and the goodness of, of God upon my life, I will pray to, for him saying, May God Almighty, who have called him at this last time, to liberate the captives and set them free from all sorts of bondages, financial, marital, and all the miracles I have been seeing in Lord Jesus. I say, may God anoint him afresh that he will be growing from glory to glory in Jesus' name. Amen. That the hand of God will be upon his life and his household and his children and his family. And at the end, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray for our uh, auto the autonomous pastor of the branch that I have visited. On that Sunday when I went there to see him, he looked at me and said, my sister I, I asked him to pray for me. He looked at me and said, you don't need prayer. What you need is to amend your ways, to go away from sin, that already the hand of God is upon your life. Now, I, I want to also pray for him that God shall also bless him richly that his ministry should be accomplished in Jesus' name. Amen. And I wish him heaven at last and his family in Jesus' name. Amen. All choosings worldwide, heaven at last. I and my family now, heaven at last because God has also proved to me and I have become a choosing. And hey. God will help me to be a choosing indeed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the confirmations. Thank you for the victories, the assurances, the certainty. Thank you so very much for confirming every word spoken by your servant, our pastor. You know, you need to understand that our brother has been a Christian 